is up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Declan and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a few hidden features that you may have missed that have been included with the patch 1.27 update. There's actually quite a few things that I've recently found out that I actually ended up completely missing from my previous videos. So I thought I'd go ahead and compile them into one video for you guys today and I'll bring this to you guys today as a video. So as always, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video today or do find it helpful and let's jump straight into this. So we're gonna kickstart this off with something today that I didn't even know about and that is the Might Bush Bison, which is pretty much a Bison variant that was previously Previously blacklisted but now apparently can be stored in your garage uh, as you can see by the image in the background according to a few users on the GTA forums this is now a storable vehicle so I'm not entirely sure about what's going on with that apparently it was blacklisted beforehand which once again I didn't even know about this vehicle in general but apparently this is a very rare variant of a bison that can now be stored inside of your garage uh, which is pretty damn awesome in addition to this something I also missed from my previous videos is the fact that I fruit modified paint jobs are no longer in the game so you know you used to be able to do this on I believe the sovereign motorcycle where essentially uh, you could use the eye fruit to add a paint job or an awesome looking paint job to the sovereign whereas that has now been patched and those paint jobs have now apparently been removed for the majority of users which is pretty unfortunate I think that was pretty awesome how you could do that in the past uh, but that is now not a thing anymore another addition is the fact that motorcycle helmets are now stick with you uh, when going from session to session I think there used to be an issue sometimes where uh, if you applied a motorcycle helmet when you would find a new session or if you take it off then find a new session when you spawn into that session the motorcycle helmet would still be on and vice versa as well sometimes you'd apply it and then when you find a new session sometimes it would be completely off your head whereas now that's also been patched and that now saves every single time you go from session to session of course alongside the body armor as well uh, which is also a pretty damn awesome addition another small additional feature is the fact that the Meriwether Mesa which you would usually call up the Meriwether mercenaries to steal it from them can now be sold when you apply a tracker to whereas before apparently uh, this vehicle could not be sold in side of the Los Santos Customs and the selling value for it is $8,700. I have no idea why you would want to sell that but just in case you guys do of course you can now go ahead and sell it with this new addition. Another one is apparently this one only applies to the last generation consoles if I am correct once again I'm reporting this uh, from the GTA forums but apparently when your minimap is expanded it still shows your health and armor when it never used to. Once again I do believe uh, that is specifically for the last generation users and also now while playing with the hood off it would now display your health bar if you take damage which is also another pretty awesome addition there uh, reported from the GTA forums. The black pants that were purple and green have now been fixed. All pairs like this have now also been fixed again. Now I've never actually seen this issue but apparently sometimes when you would buy the black pants apparently they'd come in purple and green rather than being black which is pretty weird. I've never had the issue before or seen it before but apparently that was an issue. And finally to end things today here is a list of the brand new updated blacklist of vehicles that remove the following personal vehicles from your garage. So there is a list there of course included with that you'll see things like uh, the go-go monkey blister the duke of death which only recently used to catch fire uh, but now with the recent update of course it's been completely removed from the garage there's also things like the last slam van and of course the boxville uh, the trash master and things like that they are all now completely removed from the garages uh, just in case you guys were wondering where on earth your modded vehicles in your garages went uh, that was the reason why so with that being said that pretty much wraps it up for this video today I just thought I'd kind of compile a few bits of information just in case some of you out there I didn't know about a few of this stuff and I thought I'd bring it to you guys today because some of this stuff actually surprised me and I personally never knew about this so with that being said guys hope you did enjoy this video today or did find it helpful if you did be sure to leave a like on the video guys your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel let's see if we can shoot for something while well over a thousand likes that'd be absolutely crazy subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video